That was a fun BG, though. I might queue up again. I don't know. Depends on how long I want this recording to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and queue up again. No, let's not. Let's look around the garrison a little bit. Now, we have a blueprints vent in here. Sorry, boss. Gazlo says this place needs to be bigger before we can think about remodeling. Come back once you upgrade to tier 2 and I will show you what I got. Be good. Good to know. Hey, you shouldn't be sleeping. On the job, there's time to sleep. Now is not the time to sleep. Man, I am a forceful commander. Get thralls hanging out by the fire over there. General goods and repairs. Hey, oh. Goods for sale or trade. Do you love me some repairs. Food and drink. What do you want? Uh, I could probably get around to replacing what I'm using right now, which are massive turkey legs, I think. Right? Massive turkey legs. Yes. 22, 6, 15 health. What's the next step up? Let's see. Mutton stew for two gold to pop. Ouch. Wait. It only restores 19, 230. That's less, and it costs more. Yeah, what? Crazy. Okay, whatever. Morning Glory Dew, that's old school stuff. Mmm, honey mint tea. That sounds wonderful right now. For Durotan. For Durotan. Where did Durotan go? Do you know, Thrall? This is a savage land. I was raised on stories of Frostfire Ridge, the ancestral home of the Frost Wolves. I never believed I would ever see the clan as they were in their prime, with Duratan as their chief. He is shorter than I imagined. <laughs> the burden of leadership weighs heavy on his shoulders. <laughs> we will not be broken. Excellent. So we have to establish this. Oh, a command board. Oh, hey, suggested content, random battleground, battle pet training. Oh, that's right. For those who don't know, World of Warcraft has this entire Pokemon thing going on. You can find pets all over the place. You can... Uh, bring them in and train them and then you can battle with them against other players. Isn't that crazy? Battle pet training allows you to capture and level up unique pets. Speak to Varzog and Orgrimmar to learn this skill. Skirmishes. Battle other players in 2v2 and 3v3 skirmishes. Ooh, I didn't know that that was even a thing. That's fun. What about dungeons? Auchendoon. Blood Maul, uh, Blood Maul Slag Mines. Grimrel Depot. Iron Docks. Shadow Moon Burial Grounds, Sky Reach, The Everbloom, Upper Black Rock Spire, Raids. I do have access to some raids, but we will not be doing those, most likely. And Loot, Legendaries. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. wait. These all require 100 level, uh, level 110. Come on now. Come on now. Don't be showing me these yet. Oh, actually, I, there's, a, there's a menu here. What has this menu got for me? Legendaries, Item Sets. Let's do this. Do this and item sets. Doomblade battle gear, item level 875. Okay, all this stuff requires level 110. But it's pretty cool that this command board does show, uh, does provide some guidance. That's interesting. Maybe I could try out a skirmish. Oh, it's right here in this menu. Instead of selecting battlegrounds, you just go to arena skirmish. I wonder if we could actually get in on any of that right now. I'm probably just going to embarrass my team by joining. But let's see what happens. Arena Skirmish. Okay. My group is already queued for that. Let's see what Don't this looks me. like here. Six minute queue? Okay. That's kind of daunting to be doing my first one of these uh, in a video <laughs> while recording it. Okay, well, in the meantime, I guess we can try and get these peons back to work, right? I'm supposed to be finding certain others right now? I need a break, says the peons. Hey, Skagit. Time is money, friend. Commander, your pack of peons awaits your orders. Get the peons back to work, please. We need them to gather more resources. Keep it real. You got it. One fully armed and operational army of motivated peons coming right up. There we go. Get them back to work for me. Thank you very much. Like the horde tabard. I can totally dig that horde tabard. Okay. So the peons are working again, and now we need Senior Peon the second. Got somebody speaking in trade chat over there. Senior Peon the second. Wasn't he out here somewhere? He was He was in here somewhere, I thought. He was right there, I believe, before. Uh, let's take a look. Maybe he's outside. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. 
You can't be sleeping in front of the commander. I need to find some way to whip these peons into shape. Aha! I believe I see the peon in question. That would be him, Skagit's assistant, right there. I need to talk to you, sir. Something need doing? <laughs> Something need doing? Gaslow needs you. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. Excellent. I love it. I love it. They're using all of the quotes, the very sound files themselves from Warcraft 3. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I'm loving this. What is your deal? That doesn't look like it was real crying. Nope, it wasn't real crying. Crying, you were mocking somebody. <laughs> mocking him. He was mocking him. And he's having a good time of it. All right, those peons are just having a good time. What you need? We're ready for construction. Oh, okay. What we got? Yeah, that's the stuff. Lumber, stone, peons, more peons. It's like we were building you a stronghold or something. Ah, I get it. Right away. Okay, what's next? Oh, that's right, we've got some other quests that we need to complete in regard to uh, salvaging from the boats. And apparently we've got to slay Groog. I got us a mailbox right here, but no new mail. Um, okay. Well then, let's get on the move. I was kind of coming out here looking for some more uh, resources that maybe the peons collected, but they haven't been to work. They haven't been working this whole time. And what are you doing, Drekthar? What exactly is the deal here? It looks like you're doing this for recreation. I don't have anything against that, but I mean, I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> okay then. Wow. Pretty small area. We know we have to head out to the west, so let's just go do that while we wait for the skirmish to pop up. It's quite the drop. Alright, so we found a road that leads out here. Hey -o. Frost Wall approach. Ah. The burning glacier. Look at this place. It's wild. And I don't mean like wild as in the colloquial sense, I mean it's literally a wild land. Where we are settling. Predators roaming in packs. Ron chilling out by their cave. Now I see an elite, or sorry, a rare marker there. Gurun. And I'm thinking this cave leads down into that area where I can face this. Apparently a Gron. Problem is, we saw how named Gron fought before. Wow, apparently we can just sneak right in. Pretty cool stuff. Being a rogue is awesome. Son of Skog. Oh, really? Rare mob. Now, rare mobs have this gray dragon icon around their portrait. I wonder if I can take him without them backing him up. Of course not! Dealing plenty of damage. There's a, there's a chance I can survive. Nope, nope, nope. There is no chance I can survive that. Whoa, careful. Don't want to run into his back. Okay. So, if I want to do this, I'm going to have to take them out one at a time. Or perhaps at least sap one. My damage isn't that high. Um, I think I can sap Gurun and maybe take on the three Gronlings by themselves. Can I sap you? Invalid target. That's a shame. 
Also an invalid target. Oh, you kind of knew I was here. Maybe I can take them out one at a time, but I don't have Cloak of Shadows Vanish to get back out of here, and my only retreat path is directly through tons of Gronlings. Hmm. I might need a little bit of assistance in doing this. Frostweed. Um, maybe I'll wait for Cloak of Shadows Vanish to come back up and then give this another go. Actually, my burst damage is probably okay. Let's... Let's try and quickly annihilate him, or eliminate him. But what's my plan after that? Once I'm facing these multiple Gronlings, how do I survive without being able to quickly vanish? My Crimson Vial isn't going to do it. Stun Lock is going to require a lot of cooldowns and energy to do. It'll be iffy either way, no matter what I do here. It's going to be iffy. And I don't think I can progress any further. So perhaps it is better to take out the small ones first, although they're pretty tanky. And he doesn't have a whole lot of uh, HP to begin with. Okay. Well. What have we got on cooldown here? It looks like Vanish has got a cooldown of another 20 seconds or so. But I've also... That, that's a macro right there. Let's go ahead and open up my macros at this point. So we can see... No, I don't need to open macros. That macro combines Cloak of Shadows on its own. Oh, it's already up. It's already up. So once Vanish is ready... Once we see that pop up down right here, once that's done in 8 seconds, we can reinitiate. My goal this time will be to simply DPS Gurun down as quickly as possible. And I think I can do that. His, his hit points dropped pretty quick. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to vanish out of there. Alright, enough talk. Let's do it. This is a lot of damage I'm taking from these guys. He's nearly down. Alright, I got him. And then, a vanish to get rid of those guys. Get them to reset, and then I can loot and collect my loot here. Oh, it was an epic! Skog's Drape. What is that? What is that? Critical Strike, Haste, Strength, Stamina. Ah, uh, it's a strength item. So not really all that good for me. I'm losing out on agility for it. But I gain a lot of stamina, I gain a lot of crit strike, I gain haste, I gain armor. But I'm losing out on agility and mastery. So I'm gaining tankiness and a little bit of crit. But I'm probably losing out on a lot of damage as a result. Hmm. This is soulbound though. I'm going to hold on to it because I don't know if I can like do something where I replace one stat with another or something along those lines. So let's go ahead and just move this over here and hang on to that for a while. Interesting. Okay. Well, that was a nice little side jaunt. Very roguish. I was able to sneak by the entirety of the uh, inhabitants of this cave and take down just my target. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Using my rogue abilities. My rogueness. That's fun. And you... I can't sap these guys? I thought I was sapping these guys before. That's weird. Alright, so we have to move out here. Cold snouts. And a glacial ice maw. Heyo. Oh, here are those ogres. I need to get Everything out here is tanky. I received first aid in Draenor. Oh, that's a pack boar. I didn't realize that, that was a thing. Ow. Knocked me in the air. That's okay. Oh, look at that. Drudge Boat Salvage. How come some of these boars have already been... How come somebody's already put some gear on these boars? Oh, it must be the ogres. They must be also salvaging this equipment. Well. Time to take it back, I guess. 
This was from our ship anyway, right? Well, I guess technically it wasn't ours. It's the Iron Horde's ship to begin with. But, yeah, there's that. Go ahead and loot this up. All right. And now we've got to slay Groog, who is apparently a little bit further out here. Now, this is I, I saw this out here uh, earlier from the ridge by the by the garrison, which was right over there somewhere. Ah, yes. Yeah, I was on that ridge when I saw this earlier. It caught my eye. I had just looked at the map, though, and didn't know if the outpost area, the garrison area, was just a small little instance area just for me to use the garrison. But apparently it's this whole this whole general place, which is quite interesting. We can sneak right by anybody that we need to here. No problem. You and your pet. Oh, look, there's another rare mob. Grutush the Pillager. Well, we have to check that out, of course. We looted an epic off of the previous rare mob. So we're definitely going to come check this out. Okay, they're even further down. Maybe we get there through here. It's worth a look. Nope. Glacier Bay, nothing there. Perhaps there's an entrance on this side. Mmm, sort of? He's in here, and at about this level. Ah, okay, there's the entrance. No, this is... Oh, yeah, okay, this is an entrance right here. Grotush the Pillager. Uh, he's not an elite, right? Just rare. Okay, he's just a rare mob. And he's got nobody in here to protect him, which means we can go all out with the damage. Oh, I was gonna try and kick that spell, that ability of his. Whoop! Ah, he keeps getting me with that. Well played. He's got me down below half. Okay, not bad. Quick, decisive battle. Gratusha's fur padded pantaloons. <laughs> Fun, I guess. Let's see what those are all about. Haste, mastery. More ag oh agility nice oh but it's male, it's meant for like uh. I don't know if hunters wear male, but I know enhancement shamans do, so it's kind of meant for an enhancement shaman. Actually, it could be good for a shaman all around, because it's also it's also got intellect, that grayed out 56 intellect intellect. Anytime you see a grayed out stat like that, it means that it'll have either that stat or the other stat, the main stat, probably being agility there. Uh. Depending on your spec, I believe. So if there was a shaman who was wearing this and they were uh, enhancement spec, then uh, they switched over to like resto or elemental. This same piece of gear would then activate that intellect. I think that's the case. That's kind of my understanding of it, but I haven't looked too much into it. All right. So who am I? Oh, yeah, we're going after Groog here. Being a rogue is great for these kinds of quests. Most players would have to fight their way through, but I get to take advantage of the fact that I have stealth. Groog. He's got help here, though. Got a pack boar. Uh, we don't want him having all this help, do we? Let's, let's try and attack this pack boar. And see if that attracts any attention. It does not. Can I single pull these guys? That's a good question. Let's try it. Ah, looks like I can. Let's go ahead and put another couple shurikens in him. And stun him before he gets here. Those shurikens are good because they build up combo points at range. They're a great way for being able to pull. Like this. Zip. They do take up a lot of energy, so I'm going to have to recuperate that right now. But when it gets here, I can't apply the dot. Whew. Rampaging strike. That was awkward. Seemed to be kind of wandering around. The joy of Draenor cooking. Okay, so apparently I'm getting all these scrolls for using skills and things like that. We'll take a look at those once we get out of this cave. That guy looks... Uh... Somewhat intimidating, actually. Just a bit. Not a whole lot. Alright, so we've got to single pull some more of these guys. Oh, did I get Groog? No, I did not get Groog. Gotta single pull some more of these guys here. There we go. Let's give him a quick stun. No problem. Very sudden, very sudden. Sometimes I can do that. 
Alright, Groog. Oh, this guy's... Oh, mining some stuff. Probably not here for Groog. Ooh. My stuff, he says! Look at this guy's helping me out here. Oh, I took another hit. Uh, apply my dot. My share of the loot is 15 silver, 32 copper. Oh, apparently we don't have to be uh, grouped for that. Whoa, cool. That looks like a cool jump. All right, so Groog has been destroyed, or been defeated, I guess you would say. And looks like that pawn character cleared out the ogres coming in, so that's fun. And now it's time to get back to the garrison. For funsies sake, I do think I want to use the hearthstone for it. Let's see how that works out. Also, we can check out those scrolls I looted. We got it up one called First Aid in Draenor. What is that all about? Teaches you Draenor Master First Aid and a number of recipes. How to spend how to mend minor wounds using materials found in Draenor. Interesting. Let's go ahead and use it. You're gonna teach me first aid. Something I should probably be keeping up with. But just in case I haven't been, as I haven't been. Maybe this will take. Maybe this will just get me right there. New recipe learned: healing tonic and antiseptic bandage. Okay, let me see how I. Let me see how I actually do those. How, how do I do? Oh, whoa! Hey yo! First things first. Trigger that. Go get this guy. Stun him. Finish him off. Okay then. Energy management seems to be my biggest issue as far as uh, keeping up the fight in PvP. I've got to learn that a little bit better. I know there are things I can do to better manage my energy and my combo points. So I've got to try and do that. Alright, so let's kind of move out here and stealth up so that I can't be seen while I'm looking at things like my spell book. Where's first aid? Is it a skill that I use? It used to be. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, professions. Engineering. Oh, man. My engineering is far along. I forgot about that. Well, I didn't really forget about it, but now that I'm looking at this stuff, I can probably afford to re-familiarize myself with this off-camera. We've got first aid. Okay. Allows a physician to make and use bandages up to a potential skill of 700. Cloth used to make bandages is found on humanoids. Okay. Let's select this. And we've got the cures of Draenor. Healing tonic, recipe for four. Actual yield will vary based on first aid skill. Use restores 32,000 health. Okay. How much health do I actually have? I don't know, to be honest with you. Uh, I haven't been keeping track, and the only way for me to check that, if, if I recall correctly, is to turn on my uh, my health bar again. I don't think I can check it right here. So I can only see how much stamina I have, not my actual hit point value. But 3,500 seems like a lot, considering the food that I eat restores 22,000, and it almost fills up my health bar, no problem. So 35,000 seems like just about right. I'll have to look it up. I'll figure it out later. Not right now. It would take a little bit too much time. But that is pretty cool that I've got, uh, I've got the option to make some pretty significant potions. Um, they require level 91, prepared properly. The venom of the sea scorpion can restore health. Okay, it requires sea scorpion segments. Flesh of the sea scorpion fished in the ocean all around Draenor with sea scorpion bait. Uh, you have to fish it out. That's not as fun. Fire ammonite oil. Recipe for four. Actual yield will vary. Uh, cures diseases up to level 100 and reduces the duration of newly applied diseases by 50% for two minutes. Only works in Draenor. Cannot be used in instances. Okay. And then antivenom cures poisons up to level 100, and then an antiseptic bandage, of which I can already craft one. Heals 25,600 damage over 8 seconds. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is for quickly restoring hit points. And again, it's a sea scorpion thing? Is it really? Oh, okay. The healing properties of the sea scorpion venom of sea scorpion venom can be absorbed through the skin, but application is slow. Uh, apparently, I only need the fur for it. 
We've also got old remedies, which are bandages. Ah, heavy wind wool bandage. Interesting. From, uh, I'm guessing... Mists of Pandaria. But apparently I don't really need these. I don't need to level those up, so I can actually just tick that down. And I can make these. I don't really require a skill level, do I? I can just make these if I've got the necessary uh, resources. Unlearned. Cures of the Broken Isles, Set Bones, Stabilize, Treat Burns. Wow, okay, this is a lot of stuff. I suppose I'll have to take a look at that again later. They've made First Aid a little bit more robust than I remember. Alright, so I'm going to step up here real quick. And I could walk all the way back to the garrison. It's not really a short run. Uh, sorry, it's not really a long run or anything along those lines. But I will use this just for funsies sake. I'm going to use the garrison hearthstone. See how long that takes to cast. <laughs> not very long at all. Just a real quick... A little quick short teleport from over here. And apparently I'm still in the queue for all arenas. But we're going to turn in this quest. And if we don't get into an arena by the time I'm done turning in these quests, then I'm just going to go ahead and bring the session to a close. Because I've been recording for a little bit. What you and want? it seems like a good time to bring it to a close. The Ogron live? Well done, bossman. The Bladespire Ogres be pulling back their raiding parties. But you can bet they be coming back, and in larger numbers. The threat from their citadel must be, de must be dealt with soon. You will receive, etc., etc. Okay, complete that quest. I've got more garrison resources. Speaking of garrison resources, uh, I don't know how often the peons bring back resources, but there's nothing there for now. And there's probably one more quest to turn in. Well, oh, from, to Gazlo. Where is Gazlo? There you are, Gazlo. So generally, it seems that like they're always going to be near the, the rest tent. Hey, Commander! How's the salvage operation coming? Hey, now that is some nice salvage. Say what you will about the Iron Horde, but they got some serious raw materials to work with. You're going to want to build your barracks, yes, which you're going to need to properly bash, uh, which you're going to need to properly bash faces. The first step is to go find the blueprints and learn them. I think I left some blueprints lying around here somewhere. Oh, I just canceled it. Oh no, we just got into queue. Oh no, that sucks! I pressed the button. Okay, Craven, you left an arena without entering combat and must wait before entering another one. Alright, so that's something to keep in mind. The same button that progresses dialogue cancels out of a queue. So keep that in mind. That's kind of scary. Okay. Well, it looks like we're not going to get into an arena in this video. That's a shame. That was looking. I was looking forward to doing that. Uh, but it's just a short little skirmish anyway, and I'm probably not geared up enough for it. And the recording has gone on long enough, but I mean, still, wow. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to remap that or something along those lines. Not sure. Anyway, let's continue here. Uh, you're going to want to build your barracks, which you're going to need to properly bash faces. The first step is to go find the blueprints and learn them. I think I have some blueprints lying around here somewhere. And next, you got to pick which plot you want us to build it on. Just point it out on my architect table and we'll get started constructing that thing right away. Find and learn the garrison blueprints, barracks, and then use the architect's table to build your barracks. Precision goblin engineering. Okay, well apparently we've got enough resources to build the barracks now. Um, I'm gonna open up my character info and under currency I should have garrison resources now, right? Yes. 245 garrison resources. Cool. I'm gonna hit show on backpack. That way whenever I open this up I can see them down here. 245 garrison resources, and I can carry a maximum of 10,000. Interesting. All right, so let's pick up the blueprint, and we'll construct that barracks. Oh, here they are. Fun. Okay, find guys those missing blueprints. Now, I've got to actually learn the blueprints. Let's see. Pick them up. They're probably here. Barracks level 1, garrison blueprint, soulbound unique, provides the plans needed to build a barracks building in your garrison. So I can use it and learn it. Boom! I now know how to make a barracks. Pretty cool. Now I can use the architect's table to begin constructing your barracks. Okay. It says use the architect's table to begin constructing your barracks. Alright, Gazlo. This is the architect's table, yeah? Alright. Build your barracks. Use the table? Okay. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Click this, to click this to toggle on off the help system for this frame. Let's go ahead and hit that. I've never seen this window before. This, apparently, is... Alright, so if I actually click on this, I don't think I can. I think I have to move the mouse here. Move the mouse. Yeah, there we go. Drag unlocked buildings from this list to the yellow circles on the map. Buildings can only go in the correct plot size on the map. Okay. Barracks. 
Building costs and information is displayed here for the selected building. You can select buildings from the list or the map. Okay. Drag buildings to the yellow circles on the map to start construction. Got it. Okay, so I can select buildings and see what those are all about. So I'm going to click this to toggle that off. Click. There we go. And this is the barracks. It costs 150 resources and 150 gold, and it takes an hour to build. All right, that's fun. So when we get back to this tomorrow, we'll have a built barracks. Uh, apparently, there's only one plot. We have a large, empty plot. And it doesn't tell me... Oh, okay, so we've got large, medium, and small. Oh, all kinds of buildings that we can construct here. I'll also have enough for an alchemy lab. Cool. Level 1 allows the production of alchemy items and work orders. Cool, and then you can level them up. Um, enchanter study, engineering works. Um, but I don't have the blueprints for these. I require the blueprints. The only blueprint I actually have right now is the barracks. That's the only one, that's the only one available to me. So this is the first building we're going to construct. And we've got a large plot, large empty plot right here. There's the Great Hall. Where are we exactly? I think this is technically the Great Hall where we stand and the architect's table would be about right here. Alright, because, okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's, let's go ahead and make sure that I, it is where I think it is. Where's that large plot? Where's the Great Hall? I guess technically that would be the Great Hall. There is an exit a gate right there, and an exit gate right there. There's two exit gates. Let's see if I can get this oriented properly. I know there's only one spot that I can drag the barracks to. I just want to see where it is. All right, there is the left exit gate directly to the left of the of the tent. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense. So the plot is actually on the road directly to the right. Let's see what that's all about. So we got the road over here. And it's directly to the right. Is this technically a large plot? I don't think so. Uh, well, let's go ahead and build it and see where it will actually place it. This should be fun. That helmet, though. Oh, okay, never mind. He can see out of it. <laughs> Ooh, more resources just popped up. Cool. Plus five resources. Ah, that's, that's about how fast they generate them. I'm guessing more peons is going to mean faster resources. Okay, let's do this, and let's actually drag the barracks where we want it. Yeah, I have to actually use the uh, mouse capabilities. The controller doesn't have any, there isn't very much in the way of functionality for the controller here. Okay, so, let me do this, um, let me remove the cursor, maybe there is some functionality here. Click this, 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 okay, no, it doesn't really work. So I have to bring up the mouse by double tapping L1, and then I'll hold down the left control stick and drag the barracks onto this, as they say. Drag a building into this plot, click! Okay, the barracks will begin building. Most buildings take some time to construct, but seeing as how this is your first building, I'm going to comp you and employ my handy Senior Peon 2 to help out. Senior Peon 2 says, work, work. <laughs> Barracks completed. Oh, is that the work order right there? And they're working on it right now. Okay, this is one of the spots that I thought it might have been in. Interesting. Finalize your plot. Okay, build your barracks. Finalizing it. So it's complete. Ah, nice. Normally it would take an hour. Barracks level 1 completed. Nice. And now I'm in a cave. <laughs> Garrison barracks ability. Call to arms. I'm straight up in a cave now. What happened? Where am I? I am far away. Why did that happen? Why in the world did that happen? <laughs> okay. What? What is this place? Why am I here? A Zag Zagron botanist? What is happening? It seems like this wasn't supposed to happen. But this is where we defeated that first Gron. Who have we here? Yeah, here's the botanist. Howdy. You're not really doing much out here. Okay, then. I guess we'll figure all this out a little bit later. But, um, yeah, interesting stuff. Back into the garrison we go, so we can actually check out that barracks. Drekthar! What even? <laughs> you having a good time there, man? Okay, Gazlo, that happened. Care to explain that? I don't think you do. War crew standing by! This will be a mighty fine barracks, I think. I'm sure Warmaster Zog will complain about how it needs to be bigger and with more spikes. He likes spikes. We need an army. So, the new war chief 
decided to send you uh, War Master Zog to handle local operations. Zog! I heard that guy was notorious for organizing the Alliance and Horde to face off against the Silithid at the gates of Ankaraj. Really? He was a general back then. Anyway, if you go let him know about the barracks being done, I'm sure he'll have some thoughts on how to put it to good use. You can find Zog up at the town hall, which right now is just a tent. I accept. Garrison zone ability unlocked. You can drag this to your action bar. And what is this zone ability? Call to arms. Call upon the forces of your garrison to assist you for 30 seconds. Really? I can have... Wow. Okay. Um, I can drag this to my hot bar? Are you kidding me? Um, let me just drag it right here for now in a pretty easily accessed spot. But I can call upon forces from my garrison to assist me? Dude, I have, like, actual grunts and stuff? Let's see. I need a target. Okay, so I have to target something and then probably summon up some grunts for attacking. That comes with building a barracks? Incredible. Reslak will also... Oh, he's talking. As you find more blueprints and materials, you can bring them to me and we can try to use up some of your other plots. Reslak will also try to keep some blueprints in stock that you can purchase for a price. Makes sense. And there is Zog right there. He'll have an idea of what we can do with the barracks. Okay, cool. Get a load of this, and most def- <laughs> Most definitely. And what is this all about? Bodyguard miniaturized device? Use. Adds this toy to your box. Uh, but it requires 250 of my resources. I've only got 100 right now. I'm not exactly swimming in garrison resources right now. So, um, let's go easy with those little, uh, fringe purchases. Those little, uh expendable income purchases. Alright, Zog, what can we do with this barracks? What's your idea? Strength and honor. Loktar, Commander, too bad for you. Winds of change. Okay, we need an army. Commander, it is an honor to serve you. Winds of change. Commander, I have bad news. Olin Umberhide, the Tauren who escaped with you from Tanan, was ambushed when near the eastern perimeter of the garrison. He was seen being dragged off by the Pale. By the Pale? These are dangerous, disturbing creatures that some believe were once orcs. Now they are hulks of barely living flesh bent by dark magics. Olin is resourceful, but outnumbered. I would advise traveling east to effect a rescue as soon as possible, before they eat him alive, slowly. Rescue Olin Umberhide. You will gain these followers. It's not gear that we're getting for this. We're gaining followers. Olin. Protection. He's a protection warrior. Abilities. Taunt. Forces an enemy to attack the warrior encounters wild aggression traits jewel crafting offers a variety of jewel crafting benefits when assigned to the gem boutique and increases success chance on jewel crafting missions wow that's pretty neat okay then uh so obviously we need to rescue him go forth to victory but we will go ahead and save that for the next session well they are going to eat him alive slowly right i probably can't wait on that it feels bad to end the session on that so, yeah, maybe I should get on the move to go help him out. I'm going to go help him out. <laughs> I feel bad quitting at this point. So, on the eastern edge of the garrison, you say. Wish me luck. They're all about to go help somebody not get eaten alive. It really does seem like a good use of my time, to be honest with you. Something I feel I should do. I'm a big softy for a rogue. Unless you're an ally, in which case I want to ruin your day. But if you're my allies, not the Alliance, but I mean like my allies, then yeah, I'm a big softy. Frostfire Ridge, Shivering Trench. Who are these? The Pale. Careful. We got Prowling Wolves out here. Frostwolf Alpha and Frostwolf. Okay. Oh, they're playing. Look at the pups. Look at the pups playing with each other. Look at these things. Look at these things. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This is adorable! No! No! No, this is too cute! Look at them go! Oh my goodness! Ah! Okay, I can't do this. I can't do this. Okay, there's a rare mob on the move out in this direction. I can see him. I better get moving. Oh wait, what's this? Somebody in a bush? I don't know who's in that bush. Cold Tusk! Are you the rare mob? You are the rare mob. But there's a quest here. Let me check out this quest first. Maybe I won't get ambushed. Ice vine. 
The land provides the ice vine of the shivering trench have developed a powerful resistance to cold temperatures, integrating them into the construction materials to prove useful. <laughs> All right then, fun times. Fun times ahead. Ow, you have a lot of hit points, you know that? And I'm being ambushed by this thing too, apparently. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna start this over. I'll attack you again. I'll come back for that quest later. Right now, I'm gonna go help out my buddy and uh, come back for this in a little bit. While we wait for the cooldown on Vanish. Just gotta avoid the wolves and the other wildlife. <laughs> Rogues don't do too well when we don't have a good second to prepare. Aha. Oh my goodness, what in the world? Slain frost wolves. This is not a cave entrance? Frost wolves here have been slain, and there's bones and meat all just lying about. Oh, the pale! Look at that! They say these were once orcs? Wow. Pale Gloomstalker. That's actually somewhat unsettling. A little bit. It would be if I didn't know that I could do this. <laughs> All right, I'm coming for you, Olin. He's he's strung up. Olin, let me clear out some of these first. Anybody else want to mess with me? Easy peasy can't top me when it comes to stealth. All right, Olin, I'm here to save you, buddy. Didn't want you eaten alive, after all. You have my thanks once again, Commander. These fields were going to eat, or these fiends were going to eat me alive. I will meet you back at the garrison. All right, my primary objective out here has been completed. There's more of them out here. Oh, there's a lot more of them out here. Eh, no need to mess with them right now. Just wanted to see what else was in that cave. Stealth is cool. Okay, now, with Vanish... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a, apparently a daily quest in this region just above the ridge. Hmm. Gotta get up there. And I can't fly in Draenor yet. Well, we'll have to deal with it later. Maybe. I feel that if I go back to the garrison, I'll just forget about that quest, though. Maybe I should head up here. There's some smoke from up here. Is that a campfire or something? It's blowing in the wind and moving too quickly for it to be a campfire, right? What is that? Wreckage? It almost looks like a meteor strike. Oh no, those are tank. Those are tank craters. These tanks were attacking out here. It's a fresh attack, too. Okay, well, let's go check out that daily. Oh, not a hostile mob. Hmm. Big old spiders. Thunderlord Wargron. The daily was right out here, right? I mean, I'm not wrong about that. I didn't go this far out. Maybe I did. Yeah, I just wandered by that area. There was supposed to be a daily quest up there. Well, I am eager to bring this session to a close because the longer this video ticks on, the longer it's going to take to edit. So, I don't know how many videos this is actually going to make. But file processing time becomes much, much greater the longer the video goes on. So, 
let's get to taking out this gore tusk. We don't want these guys nearby. While I'm doing that, they don't take a lot of they don't they don't take a lot to go down. They probably deal a decent enough a decent enough amount of damage. Okay, Gore Tusk, you're here. Let's do this. Oh man, we just got more coming in. Flying a dot. All right, let's use my garrison ability. Yes, marksman. Grunts, fantastic, and they're taunting. I used my my barracks to bring forth more forces. Well, oh, Gore Tusk is down. I looted a cold tusk there. Apparently, we got some more combat going on here. Dude, that's awesome that I summoned this contingent of forces. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm taking a lot of damage here. Okay, okay, fine. Vanish, vanish, vanish. Apparently, my forces went away after that. Oh, I'm bleeding. Not good. Not good. Okay, still bleeding. Now, I, Cloak of Shadows will not remove a bleed effect. So it will knock me out of stealth. Bleeds are a, war, are, are a rogue's worst enemy. But I was able to keep a cool head and at least de-aggro a whole bunch of them. And when I was attacked again, I was able to use my abilities in a calm, cool fashion to save myself, but still dangerous. And it was really awesome to be able to summon my grunts and stuff like that. Oh, Cold Tusk is back. Uh, interesting. Okay, what is that that I looted there? I looted a bunch of stuff. Cloth. Uh, back piece that gives me versatility, agility, stamina, at the cost of haste, but also get two mastery. I do think this is a better piece of equipment here, so let me go ahead and equip that. So yes, to bind it to me there. And what else we got here? Whoa, this is even better. This is like a lot better. So we're going to be equipping this one now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And what is this? Cold Tusk, a sword. Equip, your attacks have a chance to deal, sorry, a chance to trigger a frost damage attack, dealing that much damage. They've, they've got agility and stamina. It would be an interesting looking sword for me to use, but I think my abilities require daggers. Nonetheless, uh, just in case they don't, let me go ahead and equip that. Now that they're equipped, I hope I can still use my abilities. No, I can no longer use Shadow Strike. Requires daggers. Okay, that's a shame. But maybe a different spec could possibly use that. Um, cool, anyway. I'd like to get a good look at what that sword actually looks like. Alright, let's clear these out. Cold Tusk, don't eat him around here right now. Let's see. Integrating them into the construction materials of the garrison should prove useful. Alright, let me get that stuff. Stealth up again. Let Cold Tusk run away. It looks like I can pick up 30 of these plant matter things as a quest here before I go back to the garrison. If I want these extra resources, I should do this. Man, this session is just keeping me playing, isn't it? It's just one of those things. I could quit at any time, but I feel like I should do these quests. And it's not like I'm not having fun. Interesting. I'm quite enjoying the Draenor stuff so far. The only reason I feel pressured to bring this to a close is, as I mentioned before, the um, file processing times. Okay, it doesn't look like these stingers are actually going to aggro me. I just gotta worry about Gore Tusk. Those guys are just jumping around, being cool, doing their thing. And it's really not too much of an issue anyway, as long as I remain stealthed in between looting these. Uh, if the stingers do aggro, they've got a very small aggro radius. See, look at that. Isn't that crazy? I don't gotta worry too much about them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gortusk? Gortusk has a decent aggro radius. Don't want to get too close to Gortusk. Or Cold Tusk. Am I saying... Have I been saying Gortusk this whole time? Yeesh. wonder how many of you that's triggered. Okay. Only nine more to go. And then we can get back to the garrison. Oh, there's a friendly out here. Five left. Probably have to collect them all. I'm gonna use sprint to get to this location, and then to this location before. Oh, okay, no, we're good. And with that, I think, yeah, I think we are good. Ah. 
I'll assist this fellow horde. Oh, I just crit for like 20k. That was like a good third or half of Cold Tusk's hit points right there. Crazy. Okay then. Make it a little bit easier on that horde. I didn't KS that, right? No, I can't loot. Okay, so we're good. All right. So now I can pull back over here where it's presumably pretty safe and hopefully our hearthstone is ready so we can use this and get right back to the garrison. Fun stuff. Turn in these quests and get ready to bring this session to a close. Warmaster Zog. So, so. Well done, Commander. Olin spoke to me of your bravery and has already offered to serve under your command. If I may advise you in this matter, I would suggest accepting his service. We could make use of a tauren with his skill set in a land like this. All right then. Garrison follower gained Olin Umberhide. Despite his recent captures, Olin Umberhide seems to be a tauren of some skill in combat. He certainly has learned how to get an enemy's attention. I have a mission available that might prove useful for his skill sets. When you are ready, simply issue the order via the command table in front of me, and we will dispatch him immediately. Ah, okay. I'll be ready for that next time. We'll see how that all works later. Now I've got the land provides. Perhaps Gazlo? Yeah, Gazlo would need these resources. What you need? Look at it look at you being all resourceful. Plant matter. Now this is some handy stuff. Okay, uh, the land provides. Yeah, now this is now this is some handy stuff. This weather has been cutting through our supplies of rope so quick. We need something we can use to provide an alternative. Looks like you scored the jackpot. Excellent. I'm on it. So that can be useful. Looks like no more resources have come in. And even if they had, it would only be five. I wonder how often I have to check in on them. I'm excited to check in on them later to see how many resources my peons are passively generating. That's really cool. How much they're passively collecting out there. And we have a single quest here. Uh, for dispatching our latest, or our newest, or our currently only follower, I guess? Olin Umberhide. We'll do that again, uh, we'll do that later at the start of the next session. For now, we are going to bring this session to a close. Hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.